Okay, hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Welcome to part 18.4 of Crash Course RPG Lee. So uh, last time we have doing our uh, project, so let's continue. So before we continue, right, uh, I just want to tell something that I have made some modification on the code uh, just to see uh, for good readability and stuff. So first I will just explain what I have changed. So for that purpose, I have not added any additional line of code, okay, but I just rearranged the code for the same uh, logic what we have done. So this is a code which we actually done. This is a code which I have changed. So just for a comparison. So basically what I have done is like, uh, so both are same. Okay, so here is the code, okay. So initially we are using a lot of if conditions, right? So I tried to change those if into some select statement, okay. So now, right, I have moved uh, some of these portions of uh, FI, those stuffs, which we're handling on the screen one, I have moved into the login subroutine. So now you can see, we only have, uh, if the F3 is pressed, and then uh, we are just going for login subroutine. And inside the login subroutine, actually I am handling the FI also. Okay, I'm moving this code to this block. And then in the login subroutine, we are concentrating only on the validation portion. Now, uh, what I have done, I have uh, converted this if, else into a select statement which means um, okay in this subroutine if there is no fi is pressed then we'll come to the else condition then i'm checking the input option it can be a zero or one or two or anything else so it looks a lot of lot lot cleaner and also i have added some comments and uh, yeah so if you come down admin subroutine is also the exactly same so i have not done much change on the admin subroutine you can see both are same only thing is i have uh, brought down the fi uh, handling into the subroutine which means um, here right uh, even the fi option we were just checking it here uh, in the when we go to the option one we'll check if the fi is pressed or not then we'll go to the admin subroutine but i have moved this fi portion also into the admin subroutine so not big change so if, even if you call the program uh, we should be able to see the same which means um, okay we are going to law admin subroutine and then and then password then you should say valid like and if you give something without password it say password cannot be blank if you give something with password it will say user id not valid f12 will be back everything else is the same now what we are going to do in this video uh, we are going to do we are going to do we are going to do uh, the same stuff what we have done for admin login into the student login it means currently in student login it says uh, nothing it will just go back because we are not done anything uh, so what we need to do so if you choose option 2 we should get the user password and that should belong to the student then uh, it will go next next screen but as of now we will validate this uh, details and then show a valid login if the entered details are correct okay so i'm just going to co code inside okay so here if they choose option two it will come here okay so it's going to be pretty much the same stuff okay so uh, what we are going to do i'm going to copy the whole stuff okay control c okay so here better i'll do like this CC, CC, test. Now, then display student login. If it is two, then until the F3 is pressed, I'm going to display A03 FMT. I'm going to clear the RMS3. The F12 is on okay so in in this display the screen will be displayed and if you press f12 then we'll just leave the subroutine if not we'll go to student sr okay <clears throat> this exfmt is not needed now so that's it in this case so let's create the student subroutine so that also i'm going just going to copy the whole stuff okay we cannot use the same line so what i should do okay uh, i will create a line here okay so now let's copy from here copy to this after this will be our student login sub Okay. and here you will say this is 
to dent sr and pass validation the same stuff we need this we just need to clear the say face plus it will be message three and we are also using the same user id password field even for the student login screen so we'll get the value in this variable only and uh, user id password can be blank that's okay and then we are chaining with the same user id to the users database because users database is the one which is having both admin login also the user login i mean student login so if it is found in users pf then we'll check here if it is a student okay then i'll then the password matches then valid login or password is wrong suppose the role is not student you are not yes Okay, then you did not uh, everything the same. So that's it. So how simple it is now. Uh, let's compile this. Okay, I'm going to call this. Now I'm going to do, previously if I give enter, it was going back, right? Now it's on the same screen. But still we should be able to see a error message now. I don't know what happened, so we'll check on that to give something. Okay, so let's find out why. So directly what I'm going to do, I'm just going to debug mode. Okay, debug mode. So directly I'm going to give a breakpoint in here. Okay, F6, F12, two. It comes here, it displays the screen, so I press enter. Okay, go in. Okay, okay. Ah, okay. It's all silly mistake. So hope you would have got uh, what is the mistake. So basically what we need to do, we need to change this to three because screen three is having error message field three. Okay, file. Also, we'll see what is the user login for, uh, what is that? Uh, users. So it's two 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 and password is password. Okay, fine. So let's call and uh, student login. Uh, I give enter. Uh, should have got some details. I don't know why. That's mm, strange. Okay, I'll do one thing. Um, first, we'll validate all the scenarios by debug mode. Then we'll go. Let's set a breakpoint in a zero three FMT. Okay, I'm not displaying. It. Okay, two eventer. Oh, I didn't change this one. Yeah, very bad. Okay. So assume I'm giving something and some password. You know the issue, right? We didn't change this guy to three. Okay, that is a problem. Anyway, now this will work because it will say password, user ID not found. Okay, correct. So F3, F12, EG. This should also be zero. This kind of copy pasting mistake I often do. What to do? Okay. Now it's okay. Usually password can be blank. I give something, some password to say it's not valid. That's true. If I give admin login, uh, we'll say you are not a student. And if I give a proper or if you give a proper user ID but without uh, wrong password, it will say password wrong. So, do, 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 do. password, then it will say no. Okay, I got the issue. So, in this screen, we didn't change the accept lowercase input. Okay, let's change that display input keywords, input keywords. Okay, sorry, we should go to the field and then choose that. Okay, this field star and uh, validity check no input keywords. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot man. Display attributes. No. Uh, keying options. Ah, bad mind. Okay, so this lowercase allowed is Y. 
Okay, F12, F12, 14, 14, okay, 22222 password. So that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, what we're going to do actually, we're going to see the screens of both student and admin login. Okay, we're going to create a PF called uh, students. Okay, and then uh, we're going to add some records and uh, we're going to display. Okay, if it is a student login, we should show only the that student record. But if it's admin login, we should be able to show all the students and then the admin can either add a new student or delete a student or modify a student kind of stuff. And even for this student, if he or she wants they can change some of their uh, values for themselves like okay this is what we're going to do in the next video so uh, hope this helps thanks for watching see you in the next video soon